Hey guys, what's up? Avi here and welcome back to the Codex. In this video, we're going to be continuing our Git and GitHub series, learning all about installing Git on our command line and how to get started with cloning this repository onto our local machine. So, so far, all of the commands we've done with Git and GitHub, they've been on this web interface. We've learned how to modify files, commit those files, create merges and push these changes to our repository, but we haven't learned how to do all this locally on our machine. Imagine we have a code with some pro a project with some code in it. We modify that code. We want to update those changes in GitHub. How do we do that locally on our machine when we're not working with this nice web browser? Where well, that's where the command line tools come into play. Using the command line tools with Git, you can go ahead and perform all of these changes just like we did in the web browser locally on your machine. So let's go ahead and install Git on our machine first and then clone this repository onto our machine. First thing first, guys, you're going to go ahead and search Git SCM on Chrome or any browser you're using and go ahead and click on the first link, git scf Now again, Git is what we've been using so far and we want to go ahead and download this locally for a machine. So as you can see on the right hand side, they have different sort of um, downloads for your machine. If you're using Windows, if you're using Mac, go ahead and download it right over here. Furthermore, if you're using Mac, you can also run a command called brew install um, git. That's a very popular command if you search brew install git again if you're using a mac this can be a very simple and easy way to install git on your machine if you've had familiarity with brew go ahead and do that if not don't worry that's just another thing you can do for mac next step once git has been installed is to open up your iterm or terminal window and then go ahead and i'm going to clear this for now and run this command git dash dash version so as you can see right now git has been installed on my command line slash terminal and it says git version 2.20.1 if you're wondering how to open this window, guys, just hit command space if you're on Mac and search for terminal. I have this application called iTerm, which is honestly just a nicer version of terminal. Or if you're on Windows, I believe it's called command line. So go ahead and open up that application and take a look at your sort of bash window screen over here and just type git dash dash version. If git was properly installed, you should see this git version, the latest version, whatever it is. And if it was not installed, just search um, how to install git on your, your machine, whether it's Mac, Windows, Ubuntu, Linux, etc. So once Git has been installed, guys, and you see this version, you now know that Git has successfully been installed. The next step is to set up Git on your machine. So go ahead and type this command over here, git config dash dash list dash dash show dash origin. Okay, git config dash dash list dash dash show dash origin. Make sure you have these spaces in between each term, hit enter. And if you see over here, I have these two terms set up already. My file, which is user.name, chain, and this file config, user.email, is equal to my email. These are the two sort of configs you have to set up right now. Before you do anything with Git, Git needs to know who is currently making these changes, what your name is, and what your email is. So go ahead and set up this identity of yours on Git. To do that, you're going to go ahead and say git config dash dash global user dot name and then your name so for example my name is avinash jain so i'm going to say in quotations avinash jain that will go ahead and configure this sort of config right over here and then the next one we have to configure is our email so go ahead and say same thing get config dash dash global user dot email and then pass in your email so i'm going to go ahead and type in my email and there we go hit enter and now we've, got, we've, now we've went ahead and created these two configurations for Git. Now if you go ahead and using the arrow keys on your keyboard, if you use the up arrow key, you can go back to previous commands. If you go up to your previous command and hit git config dash dash list dash dash show dash origin, you should now see these two parameters added to your config list. Fantastic. So now that we've added these configurations, we have now configured Git to be our liking. Let's go ahead and clone this GitHub intro project that we have over here onto our machine. So we've set up Git on our terminal. The next step is to CD into a directory. If you've never used Git before, or if you've never used terminal before, here's a quick crash course into the terminal. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do guys is there's a function called CD and CD means current directory. So what I can do is I can say CD and then CD into a specific directory of my choosing. So I'm on a Mac and the first directory that I wanna go into is my documents. So I'm gonna say CD documents okay now as you can see over here it's highlighted that i'm in the documents folder 
I can go ahead and CD into my next folder, which is code. So I like to put all of my code in a specific folder inside of my documents. If you're wondering how that hierarchy looks, if you take a look over here, I have my documents. And then over here, inside of that, there's this code folder that you can't really see, but that's how my hierarchy is laid out. So similarly, create a hierarchy that works for you. Wherever you wanna store this, you can store it wherever you want, CD into that directory. Once you're in the directory, guys, we're gonna go ahead and run the command git clone and then clone our directory. So go ahead and say over here, git space clone space, and let's go back to our GitHub intro project. You're gonna see this green button, clone or download. Go ahead and click on that. And you're gonna see clone with HTTPS. Don't worry about having an SSH key right now. I'll get into that in a future video. Right now, just go ahead and copy this command C, head back to your terminal window, and then go ahead and paste that. So command V or control V, depending on um, what machine you're using. So what we're doing is we're cloning this repository into our code directory. So hit enter. And immediately you can see that we have cloned GitHub intro into our repository. It's enumerated through all the objects. If I go into my finder, if I go into code, and if I look right over here, I can see that GitHub intro has now been added. Awesome. So in this video, guys, what we were able to do was we installed Git on our command line. We cloned this project into our folder, and now we can go ahead and start playing with the various Git functions on Terminal. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.